Today is the 5th September, the day on which Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, the second president of India, academician, professor, philosopher and politician was born. And this very day is celebrated as Teacher's Day in India. In the same way, according to the Hindu calendar, we celebrate Guru Purnima in the month of July. Guru Purnima is celebrated to pay dedication and devotion to all academic and spiritual gurus who have been instrumental in enlightening the lives of their beloved students and disciples. In connection with this auspicious day, I have something very important to share with you. We all as a student want to learn so many things in our lives. We want to learn some art, some technique, some skill, some trick, some basics, some formula, and so and so forth. We want to gain knowledge of different subject, subjects. Then in order to fulfill our desire to attain many things or so many things, we set out to look for some teacher, trainer, master or guru. Well, there's nothing wrong in searching a guru, but one mistake we definitely make before starting our journey to find a guru or to look for a guru. And that mistake is really something wrong. What is that mistake? Let's find out. Before starting to look for a guru or a teacher, have we ever sat quietly, closed our eyes and meditated for a while, while or asked a question to ourselves to know if we have awakened that disciplehood or studenthood in ourselves? Have we discovered that burning desire hidden deep inside the existence of our mind? Are we really longing and suffering for learning? Are we really thirsty? Do we really have that urge to learn? Are we really self-motivated? Or are we just driven by the ugly competition and greed in the society? Therefore, the first question is not to look for a guru or a teacher. The first question is to ignite the spark inside us which is full of disciplehood or studenthood. And if we have really gone through that significant pain, we need not find a guru or a teacher. We need not look for teacher or guru. The immense force of the entire universe is bound to bring that guru or teacher to us. This is the law of nature. The deeper the desire to learn, the faster the result in the form of guru's emergence. And only then shall we be able to do justice with ourselves, with our learning process and with our Guru. A real Guru doesn't expect any mechanical wishes from us in the name of Teacher's Day and nor does he expect any honorarium that is Guru Dakshina in the physical form. A real Guru expects something abstract from us on the path of learning and his final goal is to bestow something eternal on us and the day when we reach to that level will our deep gratitude goes straight to his sacred feet without any mechanical efforts it doesn't mean that we should not offer our gratitude to our teacher in the form of words we must do so but this act of showing our gratitude must spring from the whole of our existence merely from our mouth in the form of words